Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your Team boy Ambush Man. Here to bring y'all another video on oh, my thoughts halfway into Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yeah, man. I hope y'all sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Real reasons why I like and don't like some of the things that be going on this season in Call of Duty. Basically, I'm gonna tell you my my good and my bad. Basically, halfway through this game, I've been kind of, eh, let me say, I've been kind of in a love-hate relationship with Black Ops 4. Mainly because it ain't brought back the essence of how Black Ops feel. More as the specialists and the game play, certain ways certain players play, play styles. Gameplay pretty much all around, especially in multiplayer. Multiplayer is one of the things that it was the essence of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or call, any Call of Duty in the whole franchise history. Multiplayer has been the main course, the main thing that everybody looks up to, the main thing that everybody looks forward to playing. But this year, I don't think Bonda Hart have ever like took any notes from all the past Call of Duty to what make this game a lot better than what it is. It has true potential to be the great, but he added things that shouldn't be implemented in the Call of Duty game. You know, first off, I'm going to start off with the 150 health. Now, I have no problem with the 150 health now, halfway within the, uh, the life cycle of this game. I have no problem with it. But there's plenty of people that have that, that went on ahead and went to hardcore because they cannot hold their shots and getting that 150 health done. And that becomes a problem within the community because now you done limited people for one for one play play or like one game mode that everybody likes to play. And that's team deathmatch and free for all. You know, now you got people playing hardcore that wasn't playing hardcore before. That became a very big issue in a sense with me. Another thing too, but I, I, I got over I got over the uh, 150 health. Now, I'm going to let y'all know that now. I'm not going to be a negative dancer. He's drilling on them. Hey, y'all, watch this gameplay real quick. Watch what I do. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be the negative dancer. Watch this four piece real quick. Eh, eh, eh. Sit down. I had to have my moment real quick. But yeah. But it's 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 the 150 health that 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 really made was a turn of events when it came to this game. Also, another thing too, it's like the special. We went through three years before this game came out. It's the fourth year where we had like a specialist thing. We started off with specialists. Then we ended up with rigs on uh, IW. Then we had divisions on World War II. And now we got specialists again. But this year, it's not one ability that they have. They have two abilities while going. Right? It's boots on the ground. Whereas I would think when it was boots off the ground, they should have had two abilities. Because the simple fact that it's two, you know, your boots off the ground, you're booting in the air. You might need two abilities. But. This year, they put it where it's boots on the ground and it's two abilities. And it's really like, it's really hurting the game, you know, in a sense. A lot of people that can't really play the game, I would say, more the average player or the, or the mediocre player, he's getting kills that he shouldn't get and messing up streaks that should not be messed up because of a secondary specialist ability. And that in my eyes is a is it's a recipe for disaster within the game you know now it might be satisfying to a noob who really don't know how to drop shot jump shot you know mainly camp and sitting head glitches the whole game but to a person that's a running gunner who, who pretty much respawns can can pretty much do the things that Call of Duty has done for years, 
it becomes a problem with them because another person has a, a slick handicap when it comes to that extra the extra ability also what was they thinking when they came out with the with the the, the mod, the, you know what I'm saying, the mod, the operator mod. The operator mod to the game is a complete disaster when it comes to Call of Duty. It's, it's like a straight handout for handicaps. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a complete crutch. And halfway in this game, it, it only got worse. Cooing with all these buffs and nerfs that they have done in the game, unnecessary nerfs. Like, when they nerfed the, the Maddox, I couldn't understand why. You know what I'm saying? It was an accurate gun. It didn't need no nerf. It did not need a nerf at all. And they nerfed it. If I said buff earlier, I meant nerf. But yeah, they nerfed it. And I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just clearly can't understand it. Also, within the black up in this, it's the uh, DLC. The DLC maps is kind of trash. I only like three of them. You know, and the other ones are too big for the, it's a, like, battlefield size. I mean, like, Madagascar, Casino, all, the, the maps are too big. They're not even too big, they're three big. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're massive. And that's not a call, that's not called for in this game. You know, it's like they're not putting any thought toward the map design when it comes to the DLC. The, uh, the Black Ops, what is it, the Black Ops Pass? That is horrendous, you know. It has certain pros to it, but it still has a plenty of cons in it. Also, the uh, the supply drop system. It was good that you know people were keeping up with the game and they were actually getting the good stuff. But now you can't get good loot, good stuff coming out of it because they add stickers. Like stickers, really? Don't nobody barely even use stickers. They they put their own emblems on stuff. They're making their own emblems. You know, it, it's it's just certain things that that just not called for to be put and implemented in this game, and that is the issue. That is that is the issue within itself. And Black Ops Four is hurting itself better than helping itself. Now my good things I have to say about this game so far is the simple fact of I do like the, the speed of it the speed of it is good the concept everything is good the weapons are pretty good we could have got more weapons but with them nerfing and buffing and messing up the balance of the game like we already have our muscle memory set on one one way that the guns work and then you turn around and buff or nerf a gun and it just it just makes it not even call for it and then it's like People are only going to go for the guns that you buff, so you see everybody and their mother using that that one or two or three guns that y'all buff in that update. So that's that's the only good I have to say about it. This is the end of the video. I mean, this is my idea of what's going on halfway within the life cycle of this game. And uh, don't be just watching this. I want y'all to leave in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all pros and cons about this game. And why is it? How, what, what makes you feel that way about this game? Put more details into it. And get at your boy.